The speed up consumption event hit the game today with a few updates to go through, so let's do that. We've got a thematic event, pumpkin monsters, generals, and new gear to look at. Let's get started. The Halloween event is back and with it comes all the usual events we get every consumption cycle, but more importantly we get pumpkin monsters. I love these bosses. Not for the rewards, of course. Those really need to be updated to match the growth of the game. The devs said they were upping the rewards, but they clearly missed updating these. Before the Keep 40 release, the pumpkin chest would have been decent. But that's not the game environment we play in anymore, is it? What I do love is the theme. Maybe it's just me, but a really mean pumpkin seems a whole lot more menacing than a three-headed hydra or a big bird. The new general, Septimius Severus, has been released as a new potential siege machine general. His skill, Severan Dynasty, increases siege machine's attack by 35% and siege machine HP by 20%, both offensively and defensively. His Ascension Stars give a significant increase to Siege stats as well, and his specialty is very nice. Super Whales might pick him up and boost him for a serious edge to the Siege attacks, but for everyone else, he will become a very strong Assistant General due to the difficulty in ascending him. There is a chance to receive him when purchasing the 5th package in the Event Ladder. Hammurabi is the second General released in this event and is available at Cake Level 10. Ebony devs have been very consistent in the last couple months when releasing generals by providing us with one new PvP option and one duty officer option. Hammurabi is this event's new duty officer. Stick him on the academy to activate his skill, the Code of Hammurabi, which increases research speed by 10% while also increasing range troop and siege machine defense by 20%. His ascension also looks very strong for a duty officer and will provide massive buffs for the mega whales that push out those ascension stars. I wouldn't bother working on the specialty though, it seems like an awful waste of rune stones to unlock the buffs he provides. Research speed is good, but speed ups are a lot easier to obtain than rune stones. There's also the uncertainty of which, if any, of the army buffs will actually apply to your army. I'm guessing that the last two will apply because they have a note that says applied to academy officer, but I say this with a grain of salt. You might end up pumping that specialty to find that only the research speed is applied. The archer tower officer staff is unlocked at cake level 8 which provides archer tower attack and in city troop HP. The archer tower attack isn't going to help much, but the in city troop HP is nice. Now for what we've all been waiting for. Take out your credit cards, ladies and gentlemen. The new Civilization set has arrived. We were all so very excited for this. Two pieces of the Antonine set have been released. The shield and the pylum seem to both be targeting the improvement of ground and cavalry fairly equally. They could be used either way. Similarly, the set bonuses for the set have the same dual design. You guys know I hate the whole civilization gear system and the way it is implemented, but I will say that I think this more rounded approach to assigning troop buffs is better than the weird eclectic assortment from the older civilization pieces. You can pick up the Antonine Shield at Cake Level 4 and the Antonine Pylum at Cake Level 10. As a last note, remember that the Diwali event is coming to a close in a few days, so be sure to redeem any points you may have collected before then. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.